Hello from the Dolomites. So we've made it to the town of Cortino di Empezo in the Veneto region, as many call it, the heart of the Dolomites, the queen of the Dolomites, settled in a beautiful valley in the Empezo Valley. Today we are heading to the Cinque Torri area. We're going to be taking a gondola and then doing a few short hikes from the refugios up there and it's supposed to be a fantastic view of the jagged towering peaks of the Dolomites and we are so excited to show you around this beautiful beautiful area. We're Helen and Tim, full-time travelers with the goal to see the world one mountain at a time. We've been traveling the last four weeks in Europe with Tim's parents. In this video, we take you back to Italy for the second time this year to experience summer hiking in the Italian Dolomites. We show you the stunning Cinque Torri area in the town in the heart of the Italian Dolomites, Cortina di Impezzo, a great base camp for year-round activities in Italy. The roads are quite windy up here. We rented a car for the week, but there seems to be a pretty robust bus system up here. We've seen the buses coming through through all the valleys and towns while we're driving through the Dolomites. A fun fact about Cortina di Impezzo is it was home or host of the 1956 Olympic Winter Games and we recently found out that the Winter Olympic Games are coming back again in a few years so they will be back in this region in 2026 so that's exciting probably can't afford to come back during that time but it would be really fun because this place is known for skiing there are over 86 miles of ski trails in this area not only is it a summer hiking destination but it's also a perfect place for a winter getaway uh, the lift starts at like eight at least there's parking left yeah hopefully now yeah, there's spots we are here at the end of September and it looks like a storm system came through last night and left a little bit dusting of snow but I'm sure it's going to melt in the sun but definitely bring your winter hats and your gloves in the Alpine. It's very chilly already up here at the end of September during shoulder season. So even the views from the parking lot here in Cinque Torri are beautiful. It's about a 20-ish minute drive from the town of Cortina di Impezzo, so definitely a short little trip to get to the parking lot. And we are here about 9.30 in the morning and the parking lot is already starting to fill up here on a Sunday, so it seems like you definitely get here early to beat the crowds. It's down. gonna be cold. Whoa, this is weird. I've never seen one of these before. No, it's the first one that's had a shell to it. At least your legs will be the only thing that's cold. Yeah. There, hon, you can see up the pass over there. Oh yeah? Yeah, you can see it switch back up. Right. So we're heading up the gondola and we see one of the World War I bunkers just off to our left. That's really cool. Just seconds walking off the gondola. Oh my goodness, the 360 views of all the peaks in Cinque Torri. Yes, <laughs> definitely put this on the list if you're in the uh, Cortina de Ampisa area. Start your journey at the nearby Refugio Schiotoli Mountain Lodge in Cinque Torri, a somber reminder of war to miss serene alpine beauty. So in Cinque Torri, there are five towers with Cinque, I think Cinque Grande, something Grande being the tallest. This area played a prominent role in World War I, where the Italians and the Austro-Hungarians definitely battled it out up here. So well, we're about to hike to a World War I bunker. Tim, what are your first impressions? Stunning views, 360 degrees of just beautiful mountains and refugios and World War I bunkers. Step into history at Cinque Torri, a pivotal battleground in World War I in the Italian Dolomites. A front line from 1915 to 1917, Italian soldiers deep in these trenches held back the forces of the Austro-Hungarian army. Today, it serves as an open-air museum, the Museo Alaporto della Cinque Torri. Explore preserved barracks, tunnels, and command outposts exactly as they stood over a century ago. The unique stone formations known as the Five Towers literally became a fortress in the clouds. 
there are five prominent peaks in this area and the largest being Torre Grande. The highest peak is about 2300 meters, so around 7,700-ish feet tall and it's incredible because right when you get up on the gondola, you can pretty much go off any direction and there are trails everywhere. And it's very accessible if you don't want to hike far, you don't even have to hike more than five, 10 minutes to get to some beautiful areas uh, to explore. getting my in-laws out for a little hike today. Seem like they're enjoying their time. They're not big hikers and they can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it's almost tripped. everywhere here. Oh, so it keeps going. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. Off, but... This area is bursting with beauty and I must say it really warms my heart to be able to share it with Tim's parents because there's not so many places in the world that you can just take a gondola to and hike up and see these views, literally panoramic views of the mountain. We are in the first few days of fall and you can already see the foliage changing, the pops of red are already coming through and with the sun hitting the mountainsides and the valleys here in the Cinque Torre, it's absolutely stunning. What do you think, Tom? It's, I think it's spectacular. Highly recommend? Highly rec recommend getting up here. Yeah. Not with your mouth. <laughs> area is uh, definitely a favorite of the climbers. So we've been really into Via Ferrata routes up here in the Cinque Torre area. There are quite a few Via Ferrata routes. You can definitely rent gear in the Cortino d'Ampezzo area if you didn't bring your own gear. So something to consider for a more adventurous day. You can easily spend two or three hours exploring this area. We were there for about two and a half hours and it was a budget-friendly travel option in this part of the Italian Dolomites. Besides the 23 euro gondola fee round trip per adult, there's no parking or entrance fees at all. And the most popular trail is the Cinque Torre Loop, a well-marked circuit trail around the rock formation when you get off the gondola from Refugio Schiotoli. There are informational signs for a self-paced guided tour to see the World War I trenches and bunkers, and we highly recommend going on a clear day so you can see the surrounding mountains of the Dolomites. We found a great little lunch spot, these lounge chairs. Uh, a lot of the picnic tables that surround the Refugio say no picnic, meaning they don't want you to just eat your own food, they want you to buy the, the restaurant's food, so luckily these loungers do not say that. Mid-September was absolutely perfect time to go. It didn't feel overly crowded and the weather was pleasant around mid-60s to 70s during the day. It can get a little windy, but it's definitely less rainy than July and August. And there are several refugios or mountain huts in the Cinque Torre area, and some of them do require longer hikes to get to. There's Refugio Cinque Torre, Refugio Avro, and Refugio Nevolo. Sorry if I'm pronouncing those wrong. But we only visited Refugio Schiotoli because it was closest to the gondola. But after lunch, we grabbed some cappuccinos and pastries to enjoy the mountain views. We highly recommend that if you have some time to do that.
We appreciate you sticking around until the very end of the video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget in our next video, we're gonna be sharing the most beautiful hikes and areas that we saw in the Italian Dolomites. If you've ever been out to the Dolomites, you know what I'm talking about. And if you've never been, it'll definitely be a great video to tune in to plan your next Italian Dolomites trip. Now we are taking the gondola back down and taking a little bit of a drive and a loop through this area. Well, that was worth it. That was way worth it. Wow. Thanks for joining us in the Cinque Torri area. We hope you enjoy our adventure today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video to support this video in this channel. And we'll see you on the next trail. We're gonna be exploring other parts of the Dolomite and there's just so much beauty to be found here. So it's gonna take quite a while to get all the adventures in, but at least we have the next five days of sunny weather. So we made it to the heart of the Italian Dolomites.